New tonight, a driver slammed into two Cobb County police officers, leaving one of them seriously injured. Uh, Fox News' Denise Dillon tells us the officers were making a traffic stop at the time. The officers had just pulled over a car on I-75 right here near Barrett Parkway. Police tell me one of the officers was putting the driver in the back of a patrol car when another driver slammed into both patrol cars, pushing the officer into the guardrail. Could have been a lot worse. We're lucky that no one was killed. Two Cobb County police officers injured while conducting a traffic stop. Investigators say they had just pulled over a car on I-75 early Sunday morning. Their marked patrol cars had blue lights flashing and were off to the side of the road. When police say another driver slammed into them. A motorist traveling up 75 disregarding the blue lights uh, actually struck both patrol vehicles and one of the officers ended up being pinned between the patrol vehicle and the guardrail. That officer, Gary Marsek, was rushed to Kennestone Hospital with serious injuries. The other officer and the driver that had been pulled over for the traffic stop were also sent to the hospital with minor injuries. Police say the driver that hit them, 41-year-old Ido Sakai from Woodstock, was sent to jail. He's charged with serious injury by vehicle, driving under the influence of multiple substances, and must move over for emergency vehicle. This is the reason for the move over law. This is why you're supposed to get over a lane if you can. And this was just after midnight. There was not a, a lot of traffic on the roadway. Under the move over law, if you see an emergency vehicle on the side of the road, move to the next lane and slow down. If you are unable to move over, slow down below the speed limit. If you refuse to get over and slow down, you can be charged with that. The move over law doesn't just pertain to the blue flashing lights of a police car. It could be a fire truck, road crews, any vehicle operating in an emergency status on the side of the road. In Cobb County, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News.